Hey guys, Dennis Machina here. Thanks for hanging out on me today, and we're continuing with more Guardians of the Galaxy the Tall Tale series. And as I continue to say with this series, a lot has is happening. So if you've missed any of the past episodes, you can go check out the playlist I have for it. And it's more of Peter Quill being a therapist or essentially saying the right thing at the right times. And we also got to see a bit of Drax's backstory. Rocket seems to be, I want to say loose cannon, but just somebody who we never really seem to have, uh, seem to see eye to eye with, so to speak. And we're always clashing, even though I try to make it to where we were both on the same side, but no matter what I do, he's always like challenging me with stuff and it's just not going well. Hopefully uh, I can get Rocket to finally see things my way. I never should have let her go. Maybe, maybe then she would still be alive. Drax, I... Hey, that's real sad and all, but we can use some muscle over here. Oh, okay, more and more of these things, more than not blues. Whoa, what's happening? Okay, is there something much bigger? Oh, never mind. We're good. oh it's mama. It's the mama. Or pops. Whichever. I'm sorry I used my powers on you before. I didn't mean to. Now it's not it the time. Intention. What are you talking about? You got us out of there. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be getting squeezed to death by Drax. Oh, you're right. I was the hero. Yes. I'll run. Come on. The ship. There's my girl. Hurry, Rocket. I'm trying. I ain't got on stick like like the rest of you. Everyone take a seat. We're leaving. Did any of you get a good look at that thing? <laughs> what was that even? I am Groot. But I'm not in a rush to find out. Whatever it is, it has feelings. They're pure, relentless. Oh, that's just swell. It's gargantuan and moody. Nebula's plugged into the ship. She's stable. Okay. Then we're good to go. I'm gonna get out of here. I feel something. Someone is starving. What? No, bigger. My oh. There's no equal. <laughs> Once we're out of here, we'll get you some food. That is one big blue. Yes, Big Blue is a perfect name for this beast. Hi, JP! Gotta run! Not today! Hey, uh. Everyone, hold on! Oh, dear. Oh, that's a big mouth. Oh. Oh. Uh, are we inside it now? What's What's happening? What happened? No, we are not. Uh, not quite. We're lunch or dinner. What time is it? Oh, we're inside of it. Slimy cave. It is A big old stomach. Nebula, how could I? What the hell is she doing? Mora, wait.
Oh dear. Plug her back in, Peter. Oh. Oh, oh no. Please. If your systems shut down, we can power them through the ship. It won't do anything. Stop being so stubborn. It can help keep you alive. I don't like being tethered. No. I'm past that point. Don't be stupid, please. God damn it, Quill. He's trying to help, Nebula. We can't do anything on our own. I'll get Rocket. This has to work, right? There's no use. Can't be put back together. This time. Honestly, it feels good to have parts of me. Just there. Wish I could have done this whenever I wanted. Maybe then I could have slept. Thank you. For helping us back there. You risked yourself for all of us. And look where it got me. <laughs> At least Come on, yeah, look on the bright side. There you go. Oh dear, oh dear. It was my idea to put all this in my body. I mean, everyone, it was so I could be. Why did you really do it? To be more like her. I looked up to her. I was terrible to her. I nearly killed her. I. Oh, that's so sweet. You should be here to hear that. You don't have to. She already knows. Really? It doesn't matter. It's too late for Kabul and me. I know what a reminder of our time with Thanos. No, don't say that. Not this piece of it was gone. Things will be better for everyone. Don't say that. Look, this might sound corny, but it's never too late to make things right. You can always make a change. Yeah. Yeah, you're damn right. Thank you, Peter, for listening to us. Whatever it is. The rocket. Do, uh, do you want me to? I'm not people trying to fix me. I, uh, yeah, I get that. Yeah, he can relate. There's something I need to tell you, sister. What is it? I. Say it. I know. Oh, there, there it is. No. Oh, Nebula. Oh, this rocket's showing some compassion. Says that. Oh dear.
I can sense your despair, Peter. Everyone's really. Is Nebula still? Nope. I don't mean to pile it on, but I got some bad news too. Our engines got thrashed when we were swallowed. Can we still fly this thing? Not a friggin' chance. I have to okay. fix it, I guess. Let's get back to work. Just want to focus on. Oh, yeah. That's normal. You're allowed to do that. In the end, she was one of us. A guardian. I think she liked it. Being part of something good for once. Yeah, there you go. Nebula was the fiercest, most sinister opponent I have faced in battle. What I liked most about Neb was how much she hated Pete. <laughs> like in a deep, unrelenting way. Funny girl. I am Groot. Oh, yeah. And she really seemed to care about you, Gamora. We should value the connection you two shared. To be alone is a worse fate. Speaking of worse fates, we gotta figure a way out of here before we end up like those poor bastards. Well, it seems like we made her feel better, so that's good. Exactly. Huh? What? Look at all those ships. There has to be some parts we can salvage out there. You forget about that internal ocean of stomach acid. You can't just take a little swim. Then get me flying again. I'll see what I can do. I mean... I sure ain't dumb enough to go out there. All right, let's find some engines. So time to look around. That'll do. Listen, I've been running the numbers here. We gotta drop weight in order to take off. Drop weight? How exactly do we do that? Yeah, take everything that ain't bolted down and give it the old Chucky Chuck. The lighter we are, the longer we float. The easier it'll be to get air for. This place is a flying trash can anyway, so... Hey, speak for your own stuff. I got some nice things. Guns can be nice. Uh, oh, please don't drop any ass. Hey, don't fall, thank you. Well, I can burst into flames. It's time for round two. I don't overwork the jets, I should be able to avoid the acid. I hope. Hey, Rocket. I want you to go easy on Gamora. Because she's... Yeah, okay. I know when to back off. Drax, how's the unloading going? I keep tearing objects off of the bridge, but Rocket says they are essential to life support. Yeah, um, why don't you check with them next time? Mora. It's a real mess we're in. Everything I touch, I'm toxic. You're not toxic, Gamora. That stomach? <laughs> That's toxic. Okay. So 
can I... This creature doesn't want a midnight snack. Last thing we need is for the acid level to rise. Uh, so where does it want me to go? Oh, right. Okay. Wants me to go this way, yeah? Lined with thorium crystals. Like the acid wasn't bad enough already. Yes, Drax? I think we should dispose of that. No, Drax, she stays with us. But it hardly makes any. No, Drax. Yeah, not exactly the right time to do that. Rocket, any ideas on how to move these engines? My boots won't be able to. An engine, Pete, just turn it on. Oh, good. A giant red button. This always ends well. Sounds gross now that I think about it. Whoa, where's that go? Oh. Careful, Quill. Hey, I'm doing my best down here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sorry. Great. Now I'm inside an upset stomach. Do I have to look at it? There's a rhythm to it. Oh, I see. I have to time it. Ugh. I don't give you indigestion. Okay, let, let me let it do its thing. It's going to do its thing, right? Do your little indigestion thingy. Okay, let's go. Yay! Hallelujah. Groot never cleaned up his disgusting mess in the bathroom, and he refuses to do it. Maybe Rocky. Oh man, I'm not gonna be able to get anything off of this one. Hey, Rocky. Make sure that Groot cleans out the bathroom. Uh, Groot did puke up half his guts after the bar. Should save us some weight to get that barf out of there finally. You know, I'm flying over deadly stomach acid, yet somehow you're the one that grossed me out. Drax. Yes, Peter Quill. Have you gathered the necessary components to eject us from this beast? Not yet. What about now? How's the rest of the crew doing? We are arguing about what to jettison. Get back as quickly as you can. Of course. 
rocket? Kinda busy, Pete. What's up? Would a piece of thorium work as starship fuel? Suppose so. In a sense, all fuel is just explosion, so yeah, it'll explode. Why you ask? Oh, no reason. Just, <laughs> just curious. Does it keep on asking the poll? Okay, where where should I go now? Is it that way? Great. More rocks in my way. Okay, can I not go this way? I guess I can't. Go back down. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. <sighs> I, I I really don't know what this game wants me to do right now. I have no idea. What to do? Great. More rocks in my way. Wait, I think I have an idea. So the plan is go back up there, put this explosive inside that engine, and launch it at the rocks. If it'll let me do it. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. I am so out. smart. It took me a while, but I'm Oof. so smart. at the rocks. Why would you do that to my basketball? Okay. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. What's Peter? What are you doing, Peter? Kita. Whoops. Little bit. Wow. This is a good helmet. Hi. You don't want to get rid of that? Then this guy. Hey. That sounds like progress. Always progress with these guys. Always progress. It's only like our lives depend on it. Get off my back. There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. What part of everything goes don't you get? Now dump it. All. <laughs> they don't understand. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. Sure is. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Omar. I'm sure it must have been time. It was. Supremely. But after you entered me... <laughs> yeah, I, I entered your mind, right? I knew it was the right thing. Well, at least you actually listened to me. Unlike some people. You see that, everyone? Drax went and threw everything away. He should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request that you all kneel before me. No, no, just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these... things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. They're you! Of course! Hello, Peter. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. All right. Let's get started. Let's see. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. I remember it like yesterday. Finished first place for taking down a massive... I sense a lot. Last place. This was a trophy just for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. Trash. Yeah, I, I, I have to set an example for the team, so I'm gonna set that example. Me and mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. Yeah, I'm keeping that. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. See what we got over here. 
certainly get rid of this. It's my weight set. Just in case you were wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. It wasn't. <laughs> Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. Oh, case of booze. My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? Yup. No. Relax. They helped me to relax. Nah. I need to keep my wits about me. My toy ray gun from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. You know, this toy was a good primer, but I've upgraded to the real deal. Accept no substitutes. Okay, that was an awkward oh, doll. Oh, no. The dream of a Guardian's baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are. Here. You can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to oh, escape that's the giant sweet. worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best baseball glove. The best baseball glove I've ever seen. It's the only baseball glove you've ever seen. Gather round and be led by example. Huh. Wow. Yeah. Totally sacrifice things. Fine. The gun goes. Happy. Yes, I'm happy. Swords ditched. I am good. Oh. Man, that is really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? No, 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 no. You should keep it. Agreed. And what of this one? Oh, Blue made it. What's up, Blue? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Nah, no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Look how sweet it is. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> Gave you to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. But you said to be a part of the team. Yes, but it's mine. Yes, yours to give away. Politely declined. Let the bug keep it, Pete. Jeez. He obviously does not want me to have the baking glove. <coughs> Baseball. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff, and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. I've done the numbers, and that thing has to go. Fuck it. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself. It's real weird and all, but even after Peter's inspiring sacrifice, it's gonna be close. I'm thinking it's better to be safe and lose the extra weight. Oh, <sighs> later. Okay. We win. The day's the day the music dies. Rex! <laughs> it is dead. Okay. That thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped, and those extra engines. We should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I install the engines you found? Yep. Right after that. Exactly. I almost feel like I'm moving out. Lobster? 
Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta uh, pick an exit. Uh, are you actually implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It's the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing's. Uh, Say it, Raccoon. Say colon. Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we seen in oh, this. Oh, wants me to. Sure it's I see. Um, I don't know. I mean, does it really matter? But I, I feel like if we go out, <laughs> as funny as it is to say, because, you know, I'm 12, it, it'd probably be easier to go out the backside because I wouldn't, he wouldn't know, like, they wouldn't be biting after me. Wouldn't it be safer to go out the back? As disgusting as it may be, we're going out the back. <laughs> we're going out the bum. Colon, Peter. It's pronounced colon. It's gonna be gross. Yes, it's going to be. We're gonna be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. We're going out the butt. Explosive diarrhea. Finally get out of this thing already. Be nice. Going out this way doesn't know that we left. Man, you guys are totally missing out. Okay, we never tell anyone about this. The universe must hear of this glorious day. The Guardian's great colon escape. <gasps> How exciting! <laughs> <Go team. laughs> oh, I love drag so much. Oh, good. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Wants us. Wants to be a digestion okay, a second okay, time? I hear you. It looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. It's always me. Always hey, me. I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I, I don't think that's a safe. One, two, three. Okay, alright. Hello. Incoming! Giant worm monster! Okay, Pete, I gotta write this thing! Hold on to something! Wait, Rocket, don't you dare! No, I didn't oh Man, it really doesn't give you time there, does it? Oh, I have to watch this whole thing all over again? Come on. So one gripe I have about this game is it doesn't say if, like, right before I have to do something. It okay. saves a little while before I have to do something, so if I die, it takes me forever to get back to where I was. The Guardian's great colon escape. How exciting! Go team. What? Oh, good. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. Okay. Hey, is there any way I, I just want to skip this, man? I just want to skip it. Exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. 
Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Hold on. I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. It gave me the prop to press it, and I pressed it, and it apparently didn't do a thing. So I have to watch this whole entire scene all over again. Lovely. So it's gotta be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you gonna slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just gonna tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Hold on. I don't think that's a safe. One, two, three. Do it this time. Yay! How's it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now, when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle that? Yes, Rocket. I think I can manage the simple task of. Hey! 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 Um, I'm firing at things. It's not doing anything. Okay, I guess it's not supposed to. Look at that, Gomorrah is actually helping Rocket. Compensated gel all runs inside the ship. How did that get damaged? Yeah, so uh, one or two of the worms may have made it inside. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship sheds itself apart. That's up Come, to Drax. Tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. Groot's like, eh. I'm good, thanks. What? I pressed... Okay, apparently I didn't press it.
Oh, that's the one I missed. Ooh, later. Oh, crap. thinking what what is Jax doing Rocket up ahead. Step on it. what do you think I'm doing Quill? your little friend did some damage to our guts downstairs hang on I'm coming back in What are you? This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hobot and Kamaria. What? I told my daughter to run and fight another day. I have run for years. This is the day I fight. I will go what does that mean? into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon you will not have a good day you better do something quick down there the ship's breaking up please peter give me this tracks we're losing engine power i am drunk hey tell me what i have to do Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. Yeah, I my feel like if I had said no to Drax, he would have went I anyway. Will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Goodbye. Goodbye, Quill. Oh, Drax. work buddy I am Groot why what happened you okay Pete where's Drax <laughs> Peter where's Drax he died a hero he's the reason we're still here what's that mean Jumped from the airlock to slow the creature down. No. What? He's gone. We have to go back. Come on, hold on. We can't go back. We're limping as it is. Also, this is how you keep us together: by launching one of us out the airlock. That's what he wanted. It's gonna be a long ride. I feel like that was the right decision because he would have fought me on it. I feel... Uh, I don't... Oh, I don't know. I'm hoping that was the right decision because I, I don't... I, I don't know what saying no would have done. I feel like saying no would have just had him arguing with me about it. And... As much as it sucks, you know, he did save us, so...
she looks pretty rough, huh? Ugh. Smells even worse. Not that I'm surprised. After what we put her through. We'll fix her up. She'll look and smell good as new. Yeah, we can fix this, right? Not so sure the ship's ever gonna be the same again. Sorry. The thing about, you know, with, uh... Ah, damn it, Pete. Drax. What I'm saying is, I know it must have been tough, but it was the right call. Glad I didn't have to make it. So, uh, yeah. I think his family would be proud. I hope he gets to see them again. Yeah, I don't... I don't really believe that, but... Nice thought. His family would be proud? Yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself, Peter. It was his oh, idea, Gamora! Rockets. There are two less guardians here, in case you haven't noticed. You need the backup. I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I just want to hear what he was thinking. He wanted to jump! To save us! What's so hard to understand it's about It's hard that? to understand why you'd allow him to do that! Please... He isn't buying it! I'll tell you one more time, lady. Back up. You back up! I ain't going anywhere. <sighs> Don't! The guy did what he had to do! Stop it! Please! I ain't happy about Drax being gone. But I am happy to still be breathing. You should embrace that a little bit. Then we can stand here having this stupid argument I at all! I trusted Peter to keep us all safe. I thought he understood that. I can't keep everyone from dying. No leader can. What we do is dangerous. I know that. But this is one time you could have. We talked about this in the caves, and you still don't get it. And now I have another death waiting on me. It wasn't why is it waiting on you? Stop taking everything so personally. Jesus. A good freaking points. For one another are all at war. It is more than I wish to bear. Well, because we're family. And you don't quit on family. Like you didn't quit on Drax. Like Drax didn't quit on all of us. Like you're not gonna quit until we're all patronized to death. Being around you, this is Thank you, Gamora. I was about to fix this, but you had to wreck the whole thing. A shouter is usually the most correct. I must go. That's got to be some sort of record. She's basically been chained to us up until now. She gets two minutes of free will and we drive her away. I am Groot. Sure did. I am proud of myself in a weird way. You're right about one thing, Peter. We are family. But Thanos was my family too. And sometimes being in a family sucks. So, good luck. Gamora, wait. Please, don't do this. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Now when you don't want to take responsibility, you throw it on me. Yikes. I, I can't freaking win with these guys. I can't win. Like, no matter what decision I make, someone's going to be mad at me. What? What, what did he say? Groot, come on. I am Groot. Even Groot's mad. He's leaving. <sighs> I am Groot. Peter? What about me? Man, not you too. Groot, the Guardians need you. Yeah, Groot. A team's not a team with only two people. That's a duo. A team up at best. I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. I am Groot. That I have you. I am Groot. 
knows what it's like to be the last of his kind and alone out there. I am Groot. And he knows how important it is to find someone to look out for. I am... I am Groot. He says I need to stay and keep an eye on you. saying a bunch of sad stuff. I love you, buddy. I am good. my friend. Whoever thought it would just be me and Rocket. Certainly didn't think of that at the beginning of this episode. Oh, Uno Trees has such big hearts, huh? What a jerk. <coughs> I'm really gonna miss that tree. Yeah, me too. Well, Rocket, I guess you'll be leaving too. Uh, about that. I think I'm gonna stick around for a while. I mean, it's clear you couldn't get on without me. Besides, I'm in the market for a new partner. Thanks, pal. Hey, this is purely a business decision. I expect results. Well, what now? It's a good question. Only one thing left to do at a moment like this. Barkeep! Two of your most lethal concoctions. <laughs> of course, let's go to the bar. Hey, Blue. Better make it three. Best idea you've had in a long time. Eight or nine rounds, then we find Hala. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete, I found her. Wow. So we have to go after the Kree? Yes? Okay, so you and 0% of players... Wait, what, what is it doing? What are you doing? Okay, I'm updating content, getting leads. Oh, okay, I see. It just showing me all that happened. So, Gamora and... Groot went with Mia, I think. That's what it looks like. You and 80% of players went forward with the camping trip. You and 72% of players went with Gamora and Groot, which apparently she forgot about. Uh, you and 66% of players exited out of the back of the giant worm, which seemed like the best idea. And look at that! Me and 75.3% helped Drax sacrifice himself. It was the right call. It was the right thing to do. He wanted to do it. Like, I don't understand okay so you and 85.8 percent of players finished with a new friend damn right i did because he's awesome yeah i finished in the majority of everything but yet i somehow made the wrong decision okay well i guess that will do it for this week's episode i went from being on gamora's side to being on rocket side i i can't please everybody apparently and that's where we're in this episode. 
And we're going to be moving on to the final episode of the Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale series next week. But until then, thanks guys for hanging out with me today. Like this video if you're enjoying the series so far. Comment down below. Let me know how your decisions differed from mine, if at all. Was Gamora pissed off at you too for uh, letting Drax do what he wanted to do? And share this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, hit that notification button so you never miss an episode of any one of my series, and I'll see you guys next time.